Alright guys, so we have a lot of serious news and serious issues to talk about today, but we also have some fun stuff, so let's get into the good stuff first. Starting with the reveal of Disney Infinity. Infinity is essentially Disney's answer to Activision Skylanders, but it really takes things to the next level, but let's talk about what it really is. In Infinity, you can buy a starter pack that comes with uh, physical figurines, and you can add abilities to them with little cards that cost money and all this stuff to play games in the game world. You run around as Disney and Pixar characters in the game and do stuff. That's what makes it very Skylanders. However, they really take it to the next level with this next part. Toy Box Mode in Infinity is a lot like Toy Box Mode from Toy Story 3, if any of you actually played it. It was really fun. It kind of had a creative element similar to Minecraft and Little Big Planet, and Disney realized its potential and made Infinity a big part of that. In Toy Box Mode in Infinity, you can run around as Jack Sparrow and Monsters Inc. and build stuff and knock stuff down and play with your friends or play alone and it, it, it's going to be really cool and let's be real, it's going to make Disney a lot of money. Personally, I'm very happy to give them my money because I could not get into Skylanders, one, because I'm a grown man, but two, because I just didn't know what those characters were, I wasn't really into them. Now that I can buy and play in the game with tangible characters that I know and love, like Pixar and Disney and stuff like that, I'm game. Sign me up for that. Moving on, let's talk about an issue that has been grading at game journalists and fans of games alike. The Dead Island Riptide pre-ordered special edition uh, set thing. Announced right now only for the UK, I might add. The special edition bundle uh, is the Zombie Bait Edition that comes with a, you know, a nice case and a DLC, the goodies like that, but it also comes with a, a, a replica torso of a disfigured, disarmed, uh, female bikini-clad body. I'm showing the picture, I'm sorry if it's grossing you out. It is pretty gross. Now, journalists and the media and, and gamers have been up in arms about how it's, it's, it's sexist and it's really kind of a step backwards for, uh, you know, all this stuff in video games and violence and sexism, and yeah, sure it is, but, you know, whatever. Mostly, I'm just concerned about how gross it is. Why would you want that in your uh, in your room? I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe I'm even talking about this. But it's it's supposed to be like a, a Roman statue, like, you know, the armless Roman statues, but it, it's like a clever twist on it with a zombied body. Actually, the body isn't even of a zombie. It's a zombie bait, which means it's a chopped up human <laughs> that you're putting in your in your living room. I'm not saying that issues of it being a female with big boobs and sexualizing isn't a big issue. It certainly is, and it is certainly a step backwards, but I'm just, I'm just more surprised at how psychotic this is. This is messed up. Disembodied torsos are what serial killers have in their backyard, not gamers. I don't know. Deep Silver, the publisher for Dead Island, actually came out and issued an apology later today for this whole issue of the torso. They apologized pretty sincerely, and they also talked about how it's only for the UK and Australia, and they kind of talked like they wanted to take it back and not release it, but it was very vague, and they didn't actually say they're going to not sell this zombie bait gr grotesque thing. Personally, I think they're, they have no choice but to sell it, because by now, the game's coming out soon, it's probably in production, this thing, so they're gonna have to put it out or they're gonna take a huge loss. And are the majority of people gonna care? No, I bet a lot of zombie fans are gonna be like, oh cool, this is awesome. You know, the Walking Dead DVD special edition actually came out with, and it comes in a zombie head with a screwdriver in its eye, and that's pretty cool. However, I think this is a bit more grosser, but we'll have to see what people react when it hits the market. What we really should be talking about with this whole issue is why does Dead Island Riptide even exist? I don't even really like Dead Island. So, you know, I just didn't feel it. But maybe with some improvements, it can turn out alright. And today, since we're talking about issues of violence and video games and stuff like that, let's talk about guns. No, I'm not really going to talk about guns, but I am going to talk about President Obama, who today released his strategy for getting, uh, controlling guns better in the nation after the result of the Newtown, Connecticut shootings of, of children, which is terrible. You know, of all the stuff that was proposed, I'm not going to talk about any of that because I don't care and I don't... Well, I care about, you know, obviously kids dying. That's terrible. But I don't really care about politics and guns. and ugh, I just hate politics. It just brings out the worst in people. But I do want to talk about the $10 million that President Obama and Vice President Joe Biden set aside dedicated to CDC research of video game and media violence. A major facet of this whole plan to prevent things, uh, the $10 million starting in 2014 will start research to investigate video game violence and media violence. It seems like mostly video game violence, which I think isn't fair because, you know, we could talk about this all day, but I really think that movies should be right up there with video game violence, but that's just me. So of course, there have been studies like this in the past, you know, scientists have come out and researchers have come out and said that, you know, video game violence does make people do violence, and then other people come and say it has is no effect. So it's either desensitizing or not at all. But the big thing to look out for with this is that now that there is a major study 
involved, I think this could be good. Uh, it'll finally show, really, if there is a connection or not, because $10 million and a government-funded and government bureau investigation is pretty much the final word on this, which we could finally have. So that would be nice to finally, as, as video game players and stuff, from coming under fire finally from this all the time, every time something bad happens. So take that for what it is. Uh, let me know in the comments. I really want to know what you guys think. This is why I brought this up. Do you think video games cause this violence or, or not? Go ahead, take a stand. Let's talk about it. Also, do you hate Obama? Is Obama the devil? I don't really... <laughs> so guys, that's what I wanted to talk about today for video game news. Sorry, I still haven't been putting out videos on a consistent level yet. I'm still kind of getting into the groove of things and technical difficulties have been holding me back. But eventually I'm going to be uploading videos at a more consistent level. But for now, I'm glad we got to talk. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of what we talked about today, especially the, the gun violence issue and video games. What do you think? Take a stand. Are video games the issue with gun violence or not? And does this Dead Island torso thing, does this offend you just because it's gross or because it's just a step backwards for the industry and sexualizedness? Or not, you're just a psychopath killer and you want to just have this thing, you want to put it in your bedroom. And also, are you going to spend as much money on Disney Infinity that I am because I really just want to give Disney all my money for this thing because I think it looks really cool. What do you guys think? Do you think this is just a gimmick, a cash in on the Skylanders bit or not? Let me know. So I'm going to try a real ending this time. Let's, let's, let's see how it goes. So if you guys like hearing me babble on about video games and stuff like that, you can subscribe. Why? Because video games. <laughs> I don't think I like that.